Hey, Stacy here with Harley Davidson of Greenville and welcome to Chrome Drive Alive. This is the first of several shows that we're producing to bring you up to speed on Harley Davidson motorcycles, riding gear, customization, bike night, and more. It's also a great opportunity to meet our team, our friends, and other Harley Davidson enthusiasts. All here at Harley Davidson of Greenville, your upstate Harley Davidson dealer. So sit back, grab the handlebars, relax, and enjoy the ride. Stacy with Harley Davidson of Greenville and we are at Chrome Drive Bike Night. We're going to talk to some people and see what their Harley life is all about. You excited about the riding season? Absolutely. Uh, we ride year round though, so. What brings you out to Bike Night? I just out to have a good night. We come from Hendersonville, so. Wow, wow. Here's a fine couple that's uh, that's been shopping at Harley Davidson of Greenville for how long? About 20 years. That's a that's how long we've been open. Right. That's it. That's it. Right. But every year we've been here. So, uh, what what motorcycle are you on now? Street Glide. Tell us about this motorcycle in this yes. picture here. This this is the bike that got got our family started in riding Harleys. My grandfather bought this bike new in 1940. This picture was made two years ago. It's still original paint, original pinstripe bike. The bike is now in Ashbury at the Antique Motorcycle Museum. That's me and my mom on it there. But uh, my grandfather in 1940, like I say, he got our family started and we've been into Harleys ever since. And my Road King that I ride now, I've got 118,000 miles on it. I bought here at Greenville Harley Davidson. Yeah. And I've always supported them come down. This is the third time I've been down this week. Third time this week, where are you from? From Cedar Mountain, North Carolina. Okay, Cedar Mountain. <laughs> that, that's an incredible story. It kind of gave me like cold chills. One of our vendors here is Magic Rooster Tattoo. Tell us about your shop. Well, I've been tattooing 10 years, and uh, my wife and I recently moved to Greenville, and we uh, opened up Magic Rooster Tattoo in Malden, South Carolina. I share a parking lot with the new Chick-fil-A right there on West Butler Road. Uh, it's just a just an old school shop. It's got a lot of wood. It's got a lot of exotic wood in there. It's got a lot of old paintings in there, old rifles, taxidermy. So, it's just a fun place. So go check them out, Magic Rooster in Malden. Hey, check this out over here. We got Tiny grilling it up. How about them burgers? Hey, we got it going on out here tonight. Look, he's always got it going on. Those burgers look pretty good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Looking good, smelling good. Come to Quaker Steak and Louvre right beside Harley Davidson of Greenville. They're rocking it out. Let's see if anybody will talk to us. What is that? I know you want to ride. Tell us about tell us about bike night. What do you think about it? Bike night, it's a good old showboat thing. Everybody likes to come out here and be seen and drink and have a good time and look at the girls and you know. You know, and look at the guys too, right? Okay. <laughs> Have a good time, thanks. And that's right, you know you want to ride. It's a bike night. This is one of our bands over here. I mean, not the whole band, but the singer. This is Anna Lee Band. That's right. Hey, how are y'all? Doing good. We're just talking about Harleys and bike night and the good times that we have because we ride motorcycles. That's the best place to be is on the back or on the front in your case. <laughs> I don't know how to do that part yet. You got to teach me. <laughs> but y'all do that here too. So. Yes, yes. And we have, um, you know, uh, Greenville Tech has a really good course where you right. can start. And we have our garage parties and boot camp that kind of gets you ready to take a class. So are you ready to do it? I'm ready. What brings you here to Crumb Drive Bike Night? Oh, we just enjoy coming out with our buds, having a cold beer, and uh, enjoying riding a little bit. And it's a good uh, midweek break, right? Oh, definitely. Pulling 10 hours of work, I'm ready for a little ride. Wednesday, midweek, 
No. That's it. It, 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 it. it kind of gets us through the week, right? That's true. That's true. It's that hump day. What kind of bike do you have? A heritage soft tail. And how long have you had it? 01. Oh, really? It is at 01. Really? Really? Yeah. What's your favorite part of bike night? Oh, I love the bands. Love the bands. I like to go to the beer stands. Yeah. Especially when there's like five. And I like to hang out with all my friends. She likes the choices of beer stand. True. <laughs> I do. And I like to see everybody I haven't seen. Like all these people. Like all these people out here. <laughs> There are people who believe America can't build things anymore, that our cities, workers, products, and technology can't cut it in the global economy. They believe American ingenuity doesn't count for much. Others can do it better now, and that we are destined to become a nation of paper shufflers, burger flippers, pixel pushers. This is the story of some people who believe something different. These are people who believe in the American craftsman because they are American craftsmen. They are people who transformed a factory by holding on to their values while modernizing their methods. Their product is rolling across six continents now. They are the people who build Harley Davidson motorcycles right here in America. There's a lot of pride in, in, in the employees here at, at, at the York plant. We've you know, put our blood, sweat, and tears to, to make the product that we make. We definitely show the world that we have pride in our craftsmanship uh, and that we are the benchmark, not necessarily watching everybody else and how they do it. There's gonna be a time when everybody looks at Harley Davidson and say, that's the way I wanna run my company. These people are the reason Harley-Davidson motorcycles are now built with cutting-edge processes and technologies. And they're building a factory to run at a pace that would tucker out any other factory in the world. We always strive to make something better, but we all have to work together in that group to make that section of the line work as best as we can. We don't want nothing going out past us that's not what we would want to ride as an employee that ride Harley-Davidson's. They are the people who did what it took, putting their noses to the grindstone to keep the traditions rolling forward. And they are the reason people around the world know what it feels like to throw a leg over the saddle and ride. Harley-Davidson motorcycles go worldwide. It's something that's uh, truly an American dream. Don't matter if you're 16 or if you're 66, uh, air's gonna feel good. Anywhere you go, everybody's got a right to freedom. You go and get on your bike, you're free. They are the people who turned cold steel into Harley Davidson motorcycles and export freedom to the world. This is what America can do. talk about what you do? Well, you know, we um, make quilts of valor for our servicemen and women and our veterans, and we're raffling the Harley-Davidson t-shirt quilt off to raise money to buy supplies to make those quilts. And uh, who gets the quilt? Uh, anyone who is active service or who has served in our military is eligible for a quilt of valor. And if they want to request one, all they have to do is go online at Quilts of Valor Foundation and request one. And they, they have a whole presentation that they do, and we, we do those here during bike night, and we've, we've done them at our Military Appreciation Day, and which is really every day, Toys for Tots. So um, come by if you're here at bike night, come by and check us out. I love this, I love this one. I need this. Why are we raffling off something I need? And Kay, tell us about what you do. I'm with Motorcycle Awareness Alliance. We are a 5013C that promotes safety to motorcyclists on the streets. Yes, yes, yes. And who is this? This is Little Bear. He's our he's our little companion that goes with us everywhere. Little Bear, can you can you speak? Say no, man. Little Bear's kind of being a little camera shy for he some is. reason because he's always photographed, right? We uh, we give away yard signs. 
that people can put in their yards so when you ride by you can see to, yeah. to look twice save a life. We have banners, bumper stickers, license plates. We have a big ride coming up on May 2nd. We we'll want to invite everybody down to Anderson to do our ride. All the money we make goes right back into purchasing more items that we give away. So you've seen the um, the banners and one of them's behind our stage and the yard signs and the bumper stickers that say look twice save a life. That is what MAA does and it's a great uh, foundation and you know what we support it Quaker State supports it I mean if if you're a motorcycle enthusiast you don't even have to be a rider um, you should pick one of these signs up from us and put it in your yard um, because everyone, everyone needs to look twice yeah, everyone knows a rider you're either ride you know a rider you have a family member we want to save everybody that's right thank you Kay thank you, thank you little thank, bear thank you Stacy it's nice to be out and get out of the house. <laughs> what, what kind of bike do y'all ride? Street Glide. Street Glide. Love it. Yeah. Any big plans this year? Um, bike Week. Myrtle. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. We went to Daytona. Day uh -huh. Yeah, so. How was it? It was awesome, it was of course. It was great. Yeah. Where's your motorcycle? It's uh, marked up. You want to go show us? Sure. All right, let's go check his bike out. So this is uh this is a fine ride right here. Tell us what you got. 2012 Fat Bob. 2012 Fat Bob and and you've done a lot of customizing to it. A little bit. Yeah. What have you done? I painted some of it. Of course the custom saw blade. But yeah, I just kind of left it blank because I ride it. And you gotta love those bats and high. Yes, love love the sound. I mean it's not about revving up and being uh insanely loud right. no just to get the point across but yeah, yeah it's to get the point across and get the potato potato <laughs> harley davidson yeah. sound yeah. right there's there's one thing about becca anytime we go riding her hair always stays like this really that's your secret huh i don't know like my hair will be all sticking out everywhere she'll be like stacy fix your hair that kind hair Yeah, bike night. It's always good times. Come and join us every Wednesday from 6 to 10 p.m. right here at Harley Davidson of Greenville in Quaker Steak and Lube. Now, let's talk about that one thing that we all have in common, motorcycles. Here's a few new models that will make your head spin. Take it, Joe. Hi everybody, welcome to Harley Davidson of Greenville. My name's Joe, I'm one of the salesmen here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the different families of Harley Davidson motorcycles. I'm going to start with the soft tail. The soft tail is unique in that it's a retro styling, but has all of the modern technology of today. What really sets the soft tail apart is the fact that there's no visible suspension, no shocks that you can see on the side of the motorcycle. It has two shocks hidden horizontally under the bike that offer you a, a soft ride. Uh, it also has a 103 cubic inch rigid mounted balanced motor with a six speed transmission. We're going to start with probably my favorite model, the Heritage Softail Classic. What I like best about the Heritage Softail Classic is it really has everything that I need for a motorcycle. It has the leather studded bags so I can put my rain gear in it, my jacket during the fall, don't have to worry about strapping anything to the back. It also has great seating for my passenger and offers her a backrest. Uh, quick detach windshield. I mean, face it, there's days when, you know, you're out on the highway, you may want it. But if I'm coming up here to a bike night on a Wednesday night, I can pop it off in five seconds and just leave it laying in the garage. It also has chrome passing lamps. And other than that deep Harley rumble, there's nothing that says Harley more than the passing lamps coming at you up the road. This bike also has floorboards for comfort for my uh, feet and analog brakes. Uh, it's like I said, it's just got about the most bang for the buck that any Harley Davidson has to offer. Some folks though don't really care for that retro styling. They want more of that modern chopper look. That's where we have the breakout. 
This is one of the newer models of Harley. It offers a 240 millimeter rear tire, as well as an oversized 21 inch front wheel. It has forward controls for comfort, and like I said, just that long, low look that everybody's wanting. Next, I'm gonna show you the newest Softail in the line. That's the Softail Slim. Where the Heritage Softail was full of chrome and glitter, this is the total opposite. This gives you that blacked out, just dull look that everybody is kind of wanting now with that dark custom series. It offers a smaller, slimmer rear tire, but still has the ride and the comfort of any of the Softail families. This has that minimal front end with the Hollywood bars. It's got that 1940s stripped down flat tracker look that just says attitude. It offers the lowest seat height of any Harley Davidson at 23.8 inches, so it's very easy to ride. Great bike for beginners. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Sportster family of motorcycles. Sportsters have two different size motors, an 883cc motor and a 1200cc motor. There's several models of each. This is a 1200 Custom. Uh, as you can see, it's a 1200cc rubber-mounted motor with chrome accents. This model has a four-gallon tank as well as seating for a passenger as well as a rider. It offers the Thunderstar Mag with oversized fat tires. So this bike really gives you that big bike feel at a Sportster price. It also has forward control standard on this motorcycle. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about my personal favorite, the 883. This is actually the 883 Iron, one of the hottest selling bikes that we have right now. It's got the blacked out look, it's got an 883 cubic cc motor with a five speed transmission. It's got that black denim paint that everybody is just dying for. As a matter of fact, the Sportster has been around forever. It's been an American tradition since 1957. As a matter of fact, it was my very first motorcycle. I bought mine back in 1988. Hell, I must have been, what, three years old back then. I don't remember. But it is a time-tested machine. Everybody loves a Sportster. Matter of fact, this one just got sold, but I've got plenty more on the way. Come see me at hashtag buy from Joe. Thanks, Joe. Okay, so now you know if you've been riding with me that I spend a lot of time untangling my headphones while everyone else is mounted up, ready to ride, waiting on Stacy, giving me that Hurry up, let's go, let's go, evil eye. Well, Joel, our parts manager, has a solution that can help all of us. Harley Davidson's all new Boom Audio System. Check it out. Here, Joel. Hey, this is Joel with Harley Davidson in Greenville. Uh, what I'm gonna show you here is the latest in sound systems. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with your simple stock speakers. We can move on to a set of stage one speakers. Then it's going to be a stage two set of speakers only. And then ultimately the fourth one is going to be your uh, stage two speakers with an amplifier. Now this sound system is loud, so I can't talk over the system, but you'll hear the difference as I'm going along. go up on these speakers, the stage two with the amplifier is ultimately the loudest speakers you're going to find out there on the market. The old saying was loud, pipe, loud, loud pipes save lives, well now the sound system is much louder. So not only they can hear you from behind, but from the sides, up front, behind you. So that sound system carries throughout. Some of these sound systems, if you add the fairy speakers, you got speaker lids, you have lower fairing speakers, a sound system where it feels like the bike is on when it's not on, 
and you have an incredible sounding system that we sell here at Harley Davidson in Greenville, come on down and see us. This is Joel, come and see us. I love this new boom audio system. It brings a whole new meaning to how you feel when that beat drops. We'll be right back. Stacy and Tommy here at Harley Davidson of Greenville with some incredible news. That's right. I've been dying to tell everybody what's going on here. We've got news that will blow you away. Take a look at this new Street Glide Special. It's... <laughs> I can top that with this new old school lowriders. It's only... You know what, Stacy? This really isn't working. No, it's not. Hey, just come see us here at Harley Davidson of Greenville. You know you want to ride. That's right. When you're ready for a Harley, what do you look for? A friendly place with a great selection? That's Harley Davidson of Greenville. 24 hour turnaround on your scheduled service? That's Harley Davidson of Greenville. The lowest possible payments? We've got that. And we're the only dealer that will give you a personal assistant when you buy a bike from us. Ask about a free trial of our Sidekick app. Hey, we're approaching our 20th anniversary and there's a reason for that. You know you want to ride Harley Davidson of Greenville. Welcome back to Chrome Drive Alive. Tommy's up next to show you some Harley Davidson models from the Dyna family, but first, let me give you a little history. Dyna's used the 88 cubic inch twin cam motor from 99 to 2006. In 2007, the engine was increased to 96 cubic inches, and for the 2012 model year, Harley Davidson Motor Company offered the Dyna models with the 103 cubic inch motor as an upgrade option. Here's Tommy to tell you the latest. Hi folks, this is Tommy here at Harley Davidson of Greenville, and I'm gonna bring you up to speed on the Dyna family. Uh, this is a few models we brought out today out of the four or five models that they make. This blue one right here is a uh, Street Bob. This little bike, we, uh, you can custom order this bike. You notice this one has got the uh, high impact Mellow Fake blue paint. Uh, this bike is 103 cubic inch with a six speed transmission. Uh, it's set up right now, as you can see, solo, but it's easy to put a, a back seat and pegs on it if you want to ride uh, somebody with you. Right here we have the Dyna Wide Glide. Now this dyna has been around the longest. Uh, this bike is in the custom flame paint job, the old 50 style flame and the black denim paint, really sharp looking. The Dyna is raked out a good bit more than the Street Bob. It's a little bit longer bike, carries the same engine, has the 103 and the six speed, it's fuel injected. Uh, this bike also comes standard with ABS brakes now, uh, as does the uh, switchback. This bike is already set up for two up and has a little small sissy bar here on the back. Now we're moving up to a bike that doesn't look quite as much like the other two, but it's still built off the same platform. 
This is called a switchback. And this is more of a touring version of the Dyna. It's got a nice set of hard saddlebags, which are detachable. These will come off in a matter of seconds, and you can take the bags off, and the windshield is detachable. The windshield can pop off, and it really changes the look of this bike and gives it a little bit more sporty look. But if you're going to travel and you're going to be on a trip, it's nice to have bags, and it's nice to have the windshield. Uh, this bike also has floorboards, which is going to give you a little bit more comfort. It's a little bit heavier bike than the other two Dynas, and it's just really designed to take a little bit longer trips than the other Dyna models. Uh, I appreciate you listening today, and uh, please come down and see us at Harley Davidson of Greenville, and we'll let you test ride any of these anytime you want to. Thank you, Tommy. All right, now. The VRSE family was introduced to us in 2001. Harley-Davidson worked with Porsche to develop the first liquid-cooled motor for Harley-Davidson. The reaction to the V-Rod was either love or hate due to the unique design. Personally, I think it's a hot, awesome motorcycle with all the power that you will ever, ever need. Take this bad boy to the mountains and it's the time of your life. But I'm going to shut up and let Jeremy tell you more about them. Hey folks, Jeremy here at Harley-Davidson and Greenville. I want to introduce two bikes to you today. One, the Harley-Davidson V-Rod. This one, in fact, is a Harley-Davidson muscle. It has a lot of muscle, including the rear tire. This is a 240 millimeter rear tire, one of the biggest Harley makes. This one happens to be a factory custom paint been very popular this year. This is a 2015 model. Another key factor on this bike is the anodized metal. Everybody loves the look of this bike. And it's backed by 1250cc water-cooled. The two bikes I'm going to show you today are both water-cooled bikes. This is Harley's water-cooled lineup. Another key feature on this bike is the five-gallon fuel tank. You can ride for miles and miles on a full tank of gas. Another good bike is the Street 750 and the Street 500. This is Harley's new bike they came out with this year. Great entry level bike, excellent price point bike. You can get into this bike somewhere between the $7,500 to $8,000 price range. This bike is also water cooled. What that means, it's great around town, it's great on warm days, you don't have to worry about the bike running too hot. One great element to this bike is a traditional teardrop shaped gas tank. Not only does it hold a lot of fuel, but it's a beautiful design. It maintains Harley Davidson traditional look. Uh, and notice the cafe style fairing on the front. Another good feature that Harley Davidson is really made, made known for. Another great thing on the V-Rod muscle is the ABS brakes. Not only is this bike a rocket ship, but it'll also stop on a dime and very controllable. Anti-lock brakes on the V-Rod muscle. Thanks for watching Chrome Drive Alive, and I hope to see you on Wednesday for Bike Night. Harley-Davidson of Greenville is your upstate dealership. You know you want to ride. <laughs>